So I've spent the better part of today working on getting an electric fence set up. Our bull Manly has been getting out. He's gotten out a few times now. So our last effort to try to keep him in his pasture before we have to either rehome him or process him is to get him to stay. And that was to use hot wire. So I put up a hot wire system today and it's working. It's got power. He's gotten shocked by it and it seems to be super effective so hopefully this will contain him and we don't have any problems in the future we've got this electrical charger this was left by our neighbor who we purchased the property from um, i just put a new battery in it and it's got full power right now i've got a couple grounding rods hooked up to it they're copper it's all that tractor supply had at the moment but worked great um, it's putting out full power so this field fencing here is in decent shape, but our bull was coming up, pushing up on the bottom of it here and just shoving his way through. So I've got a strand about maybe a little more than midway up, right at his nose level. So now when he approaches the fence, he will get zapped. And I think he's already gotten a pretty good idea of what that's like. He was on the fence all day today, now he's keeping his distance a little more. I just gave him some hay there. So hopefully that does the trick. But this entire back fence here, that house in the background, there's a fence that goes across the whole backside of our property. So that's got hot wire. Fence all the way on backside there has hot wire. And then everything up by the house I have replaced with barbed wire, which he does not mess with. So eventually that's the goal is to have everything converted to barbed wire. But in the meantime, it seems that one strand of hot wire should be a pretty good solution here. Didn't take too long given the amount of area I had to do.